You're on. All right. Hey, I'm Greg from Ohio. This is my uh, 1934 Harley Davidson VLD, uh, 74 cubic inch motorcycle, flathead. Uh, probably produces about 30 horsepower or so. Uh, let's see, I bought it. I don't know. Five years ago, from a high school friend, painted like a cow, a Holstein cow, black and white splotches. Put it together, rode it around like that for a couple years, and then finally restored it, painted it, etc. Runs like a real champ. It's a uh, total loss oil system. It uh, got to keep track of your oil, so uh, always keeping the oil tank full. And, uh, it's a fun bike to ride. It uh, sits real low, it's real agile. Get it, throw it around corners, and it's a lot of fun. How long have you been on old bikes now? Oh, probably, I don't know, maybe about, about 30 years, maybe. Yeah. You got any other bikes at home? Uh, I got a modern bike, mm -hmm. uh, modern Harley Davidson, that uh, push button bike. Go out when I get tired of kickstarting. There you go. I'll be honest, certainly start real easy. She's sort of pretty. Yeah, it does start pretty easy. Mm -hmm. It uh, it runs pretty well. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Beautiful. I've had a few VLs in, in time. This little diamond striping they got on the fenders here, it's a 34, you said, right? Right, right. Yeah, that, they put the diamond striping. Right, and that's the only year that they did that, 34. Yeah. Very cool paint job that they did. Very, very neat. Yeah, just to brag up a little bit, if you. Uh, the, the, uh, this first year for skirted fenders, right? So right, that right. is correct. So if you look at this bike, you could say this is a predecessor to the EL knucklehead, first year knucklehead. That is correct. Because it has the same fenders, different tanks. Mm -hmm. but this it still this has is the, the streamlined look. Right. This is the beginning of that styling. You are yeah, absolutely it sure correct. Is. You're absolutely Shrouded correct. tail light for airflow. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, all that stuff. The Art Deco painting. Right. I think this decal is only two years, maybe 34, 35. Right. That is correct. Yeah. The VO. They came. All the years that they made the V series bikes, they were 74 inch except for 36, but they they made a VLH or and a VH, which was a optional 80 inch, which they made an optional four speed 36. The VL line was made 30 to 36. In 36, they came out with the overhead valve that we today call the knucklehead. And they used the same hog snout in the rear on the tail fender there to 38. So 34 to 38, those years only. So this is the forerunner right here. This is the very first year, the forerunner of the modern styling FL style that we know today. The same basic sweeping full fender look that we still have today. This is the very first year they used it. So that makes this bike really neat. The 34 came, as far as I'm aware, generally with that upsweep pipe. All the 34s your, I've had well, had that upsweep pipe. Upswept, right. One year only that was upswept. a standard deal. Yeah. After that, it became an accessory thing you had to buy after the fact. Uh, a lot of companies made them, even Harley made them, but 34, that was the deal that they made that year. Yeah. Last year for white fender uh, hand grips. Yeah, you know, the hand the hand grips 34 standard uh, optional to 37, and this is the first year 34 that you had your optional rear brake. This is an option, ladies and gentlemen. This oh, is your brake light switch. That's an option switch. only. Yeah. Most of the bikes didn't have it, so that makes these brake light switches today kind of rare, kind of hard to come by. Yeah. This is a neat bike. I've, I've had VLs. I, I I got rid of my last one, a 35. They're really, really good running machines. They're nice handling. And for an antique motorcycle, if any of you guys out there are considering getting into one, a, a VL is a bargain. They are one-third the price, generally, of a comparable knucklehead. They're just really an awesome, awesome machine. So thanks much for letting us interview for yeah. your beautiful bike. Yeah, thank Everybody you very much. Everybody in YouTube land will love you. All right. Next guy, video, guys. We'll see you.